What's up, everybody? It's Legal Tender. Back in the building, back in the vault. Put out some notes to make a new video. All right, so I want to thank everybody for the love and support of the channel thus far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will always say that because I really do mean it. Um, again, thank you, everybody, for the love. Um, thank you for the comments. Uh, thanks for the encouraging words and the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, uh, put it down in the comment section and I will respond back as soon as possible with the most educated and most informed answer I could find. If I don't know it, I will find that answer because it's, it makes me smarter and just broadens my horizon a little bit more about Newsmatics. So for that, thank you. Um, if you're a fan of Newsmatics Paper Currency, keep rocking with me, keep rocking with the channel. Every week, I will be making a new episode speaking about something different regarding paper currency or Newsmatics. So with that being said, let's get into today's episode. Oh, so today, I will be speaking about monochrome notes. These notes came in five denominations. They came in 5, 10, 20, 50, and one hundred dollar notes, and in my collection, I have I have a five, a ten, and a fifty. So I'm missing a twenty and I'm missing a hundred. So as soon as I get those two notes, I will have a complete set of the monochrome series. So with these notes right here, these are the second notes I was ever exposed to as a, as a kid growing up. The first notes that I knew of were the traditional small face notes. But in the year 1996, they made the monochrome series and it was the first time in 67 years, such a drastic redesign took place to U.S. currency. And the reason that they made these notes were was to incorporate more security features and to deter counterfeiting. And as I break it down, um, I will show you some of the added security features that the monochrome series has that still are in place with today's currency as opposed to the old year series. What we got? We got series year 1977 alpha. So like I said, monochrome notes came into existence and they, they were printed from 1996 until 2000. And the first note to be printed was the $100 note. And they printed that $100 note in 1996. After that, the $50 note was printed in 1997, the $20 bill in 1998. Then they did the 10 and the 5 in the year 2000. So they were printed from 1996 until 2000 and issued from 1996 until 2013. So, like I said, the main reason that they made these notes was such a drastic redesign was for added security features and we're going to the security feature right now like if you look right there they have watermarks they have micro printing uh, security threads right here and some of these notes have color shift and in ink so Zooming in on this right here, the micro printing reads. Right there, all up and down. That reads on this note, on this $5 bill, that has the word five all the way down, like written across. That's the micro printing on this note. On the $10 note, again, we got watermarks, 
We have a security thread right here to the right of the vignette, the enlarged vignette. Right here, microprinting. See, just looking at it, you'll think that it's just <clears throat> shaded in, but it's not. That is actually the word 10. All right, let's get it to zoom in. That is actually the word 10 going across the numeral 10. That's crazy. That is crazy. See, just looking at it, you'll think that it's like someone drew the numeral 10 and just like kind of shaded it in, but no, that's the micro printing. That's the security feature that's added to this note. It is actually the word 10 written across numerous times. That's dope. And also we have color shifting ink right here. Look like it goes from a metallic gold to like a dull green. That watermark right there of the first treasurer of no the first secretary of treasury the statesman alexander hamilton the first first secretary of treasury all right right here we have the 18th president hiram ulysses s grant um, same old, same old. Watermark right here. Microprinting right there. Color shifting ink. Security thread. To the right of the enlarged vignette. Again, uh, shifting from a metallic gold to an offset mutish or forest green. The micro printing right here, with it being a $50 note, it has the word 50. There we go. Going all the way across. The design of these notes are super, super inventive, creative. These security features are nuts. Um, no change to the back. The back still has the, on the, uh, on the reverse side of the note, they still have the same traditional back, back plate from a smaller series note. Uh, if anything, I would just say uh, they took out a bunch of the extra designs. So it's just a plain white background, but the overall structure is still the same. Um, the numeral is in large in the lower right hand corner. And that was to assist the visually impaired. Lincoln Memorial on the five. We have the Treasury Building on the 10. And we have Capitol Hill on the $50 note. And still no changes to the 20 or the 100 as well. So, yeah. Monochrome notes first printed from 1996 to the year 2000. Issued from 1996 until 2013, there are five denominations of the monochrome series and two, two denominations that was not printed. That is the $1 note and the $5 note. Um, talk about the word mono, monochrome. All right, mono means one, and that is for 
it's like one shade of green or one color going throughout the entirety of this note unlike the newer series that's all colorized another security feature um yeah so mono is one one tone of color um the treasury seal and serial numbers seem to have a, a darker forest green uh color tint to it some people call this overall color of the note an olive drab i would say it's more of a muted green in my little opinion as you see the differences in regards to the color they kind of look the same not too much difference though but yeah two more notes the 20 and 100 and i will have the entire monochrome series it would be nice to have like all the same matching years uh, series years but as long as I get good decent notes and good shape I take it all right so we have the series year for 1999 on this side on the right side of the portrait and then for 1996 on that side oh something else too Another security feature, some small and subtle. The security thread is right here to the left of the five. To the right of the 10. And on the 50 is to the right as well. So, again, man, I tried to find who came up with this overall design but with the bureau of engraving and printing it's a group effort so if one win they all win but I, I was not able to identify like someone that specifically came up with this overall scheme and design because it is super inventive all right so that's all we got for the monochrome notes. Once I get the other two, I'll let you know. So stay tuned. All right. Like I said, that's all we got for this one. Uh. All right. Till next time. Keep it legal. Keep it tender. Talk to you soon.